Hey folks, thanks for stopping by. Today's project is going to be finished turning a small cherry bowl. Stick around, we'll get started. As you can see, this blank is pretty out of round. Um, I did spend some time before, uh, before I started filming truing up the tenon on the back. and I just put it between centers and, and cleaned up the tenon so that it's not oval. Um, so that it will fit in the chuck jaws uh, securely. As you can see, it's it's moved quite a bit in the two years that it's been drying. So let me um, gear up, and then I'll work on um, truing up the outside first. Getting there. We got a little bit more to go. It's gonna look nice. I love cherry. Basically it. Let me work now on making a uh, getting some of that end grain tear out gone. I'll drop the handle. Do some uh, shear cutting as I come across. negative rake scraper and see if I can get in there and get closer to the bottom and then smooth out any other irregularities or ridges. Smooth. And then, uh, move on to the rim. Start cutting that down. It's a shame we lost a chunk of it because I'm going to have to bring the ball back uh, to get rid of that. Yeah, that's weird.
I guess I get to retrue it. I think that'll sand out. Yeah, cherry's kind of plain. Let me let me think. I'm gonna do to liven it up a little bit. Let me thin that out. It's a little bit thick right there. switch out the um, heads on my uh, spiraling and texturing tool and put a spiraling bit on it and I'll try uh, putting a, a, a spiral on the rim back in a sec okay I've got the speed set at about 500 rpm let's, um, let's see what the texturing tool will do Not a 
is neat. Let me grab a tool to create a line on either side of that. That'll do. Let me grab some sandpaper and start going after it. I think with that finish and a good amount of scraping I did, I can start with 220. Alright, let me grab some uh, friction polish and see what that does to it.
We got my long with chuck. I'll flip it around and we'll take off the bottom. I'm gonna grab a uh, oil gouge and I'll flatten that off. Okay, that looks good. So the next step uh, in my finishing regimen for these kind of bowls is usually um, give it a while to harden up and then hit it with the, uh, the Beal buffing system. Let me uh, get it off the chuck, get the chuck out of the way, clean up a little bit, and mount the Feel system, and I'll be back.
So the last thing I need to do is put my name, the date, and the species of wood. And that is that. Thanks for sticking with me. If it's your first time here, uh, please be sure to hit subscribe, uh, comment, like, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. Take care.